And welcome back here to GMA with our GMA cover story. Act Sutton joins us now with what we need to know there. Good morning again. Good morning. This is so scary. So break this all down for us, Dr. Daring. What, what do we know about what happened to her? It's a young woman, seemingly healthy. Yes. We just saw her in the new Mean Girls musical. Um, what symptoms? So on and so forth. So it's about paying attention to your body. And we know that this started for her. Need that urgent medical help. That's a, at any age. Yep. So it's always important to pay attention to your body. Really important conversation. Thank you, Dr. Daring. In. Of course. Whit, let's go over to you. Win the weekend on this oh snowy Saturday, right? Yeah. Many people across the country experiencing that winter weather, but of course there are some areas spared from the freezing temps like Southern California. But that's not stopping one family from having some winter fun. G. Oh my gosh, you know I had to bring her in so you yeah. can see GG. Four astronauts, private astronauts, but she went. Oh. <laughs> so cute. So sweet. Oh, uh, the best. And speaking of space here, Japan is now the fifth country. We need to make our way over here because we are going to roar into 24. Eating healthy, it does not have to be boring, folks. Just ask our next guest, Kat Ashmore. Some of her favorites right now. Yes. It smells so it good smells right delicious. here. It smells delicious. It really yeah. does. Barbecue will do that to you. <laughs> that's for sure. You know, my dad used to say that you knew something was good for you because it didn't taste like anything. So I made it my mission to change that way of thinking. And Hungry Lady salads are really these big, hearty, meal in a bowl salads. I mean, this one, arguably, you could even serve on game day. I'm and that's what you're so known for. Is that, so, it is what I'm known for. So tell yeah. us about the Hungry hungry Lady Salad. Great. So this particular one is a barbecue ranch chopped salad. So you take a very classic chopped salad base. We've got romaine lettuce just in bite-sized pieces. We've got tomato. We've got cute that people go crazy for. Oh, we've got an avocado in here. Me too. Me too. We've got carrot and then we've got green onions. Now, a little tip if you are taking the pit out of an avocado, because uh -huh. I always make Huge mess. Yep, yep. You make a mess, and even worse, you could harm yourself, right? Yeah. Because the <laughs> yeah, nine yeah, yeah. could go right through, right? Yeah. So we're gonna open this up. Are you up for the challenge? Okay, let's try. Okay, amazing. So I want you to put your thumbs here, uh -huh. and then your fingers here, and you're gonna push. Stop. No really? pressure. We're all counting on you. Oh yeah. my God. Easy. Right oh, out. Really? I like it. Comes it comes right out. You get a little extra here. You can go. Uh, uh, yeah, there I you mean, go. All right. I right won't now. judge you for that. No, no problem. Judgment. Okay, so then the, we're the ranch see. dressing, right? Yeah. This is dairy free. This is a dairy free. Ranch dressing. Yeah. It's really, I mean, it's really all about the dressing, right? And I feel like ranch is just something that everyone Can't just seems to love, yes, whether it's yes, kids. Yes. kids. A hundred percent. I could put ranch on a lawnmower and they would eat it. Yep. <laughs> so we've got a dairy-free ranch dressing, no special equipment required. You just put everything in a ball jar and you just shake it. I use a unsweetened coconut yogurt that is totally Can I taste this? Uh, of course you can. That's what we get I mean, get involved. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's so going to be, mm -hmm. it's going to be totally masked by all of the savory flavors we have going on, the white wine vinegar, you know, mm -hmm. we've got onion, garlic, all of that. So we're going to put on some barbecue beans. These could not be easier. You just take a can of beans and you take your favorite barbecue sauce and you oh. barbecue beans on a salad. I mean, so I'm listen, excited. we have, I have a lot of naysayers about some of the combos <laughs> that I come up with and I am, I am inspired by that. Mm -hmm. So the next step after we get all of these barbecue beans on is we're yeah. going to crumble some tortilla chips. So I'm going to let all of you oh. do that. If you have any aggression, so for a you need crunchy. to get out. So just like, yeah. just smash just, the chips. Oh, smash yeah, them. Just oh, have gosh. fun with them. I mean, use your palms to really be aggressive. Really? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, that he has a bam. <laughs> We just saw his anger yeah. on this yeah. no, right no stress, no stress around <laughs> And I'm going to tell you, if you have children, the fact that you are allowing them to crush oh, good, up yes. chips, it's like their favorite day. It could not have been easier. And we have about 30 seconds. You want to tell us about right. the dessert? Yeah. So over there, I have got a dark chocolate Earl Grey mousse. And the base of that mousse, believe it or not, is silken tofu. Okay. Uh -oh. I'm going to try this one. Yeah, you yeah. would yeah. never. Yeah. I know. Of course, everyone goes for the dessert. I always, yeah. right? Always. That's why I couldn't let you go. We work yeah. strange yeah. hours, so yeah. it's all right. Dessert of course. Is totally you fine. guys can so have good. this backstage. That is so good. Can't yeah. wait for that salad. You never know. It's the same texture and everything. So good. And the recipes are on goodmorningamerica.com. Kat's cookbook right. comes so out uh, this week. Thank you so much, Kat. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. I had a wonderful time. Beans on a salad. Yeah. It's delicious. Coming up here, two young best friends spreading time. <laughs> We're back now with our series, Ray of Sunshine. The things we talk about during commercial uh, breaks. Yeah, yeah. That's, G that's why we start laughing. Gut health issues. We'll leave it. Well, really? <laughs> no, no. He's helping us all in our health. No, exactly, yes. 
Uh, we are celebrating hometown heroes across the country, and this morning we're shining a spotlight on a couple of kindness ambassadors. And Will Gans is here with more on two teenage best friends making a big difference. Will, good morning to you. Good morning, Wit. Yeah, the Great Kindness Challenge is an annual week. Yeah, I feel like we give that. teens such a hard time all the time, and these kids are really making it. Really do. Exactly. I did tell them while yeah, I was talking. They should. Yeah. Need more of that for sure. Thank you, Will. We appreciate it. Let's go back to Samara for a check of the weather and. If you're in Florida, watch out for those falling. <laughs> yep. This Saturday's GMA Buzz Pick is Where We End by Abbott Kaler. It is the best-selling nonfiction author's first foray into fiction, and she is here to tell us all about it with the help of a couple surprise visitors. Hold it at the yeah, end. That's right? scary. <laughs> a little creepy. Where We End is available now. You can keep reading along with us on our Instagram at GMA Book Club. And coming up, she is the woman behind... Welcome back to GMA. Well, can you even call yourself a millennial if Jesse Spano's Saved by the Bell caffeine pills spiral didn't leave a lasting impression on your psyche? Well, we'll talk more about Jesse in just a moment with our next. This isn't guest. quite a memoir, so how did you get the idea for this book? Yeah, it's a I love that you're talking about this. All, all of us here are millennials. So I was just reading it and I was taking this trip. The audience shows was because it's telling you who's a punchline and who's making a good point well, and who was funny mm. and who was the butt of the joke. And um, I just thought it was interesting. Really? You certainly don't think about that when you're a kid who's writing this stuff. And yeah. your perspective does change as you become an adult. Let's talk about also your podcast, Be There in Five, um, that people obsess over. What are some of these things? Yes. You know, it's like I could roll my eyes and be like, oh, I was such a stupid. Email lyrics was just, it was a sort of rite of passage, I think. So for people who don't know, this journey started out with a doormat, turn off yes. your curling iron, um, and you also get real about... Girl some... Boss era, which is great. But I also was reading a lot of inspirational quotes and like self-help books that talk, is necessary to make that dream Absolutely. possible. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. We'll be right yeah. back. Thanks, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.